Hi everyone, welcome. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight here to do a special Valentine reading. I thought this would be fun. This is for the collective. It's for all signs. I'm not doing um, individual signs. So this is just a collective reading for anybody and everybody who watches this. So this is for how your person, um, you may be dating, you may like somebody or separated. Obviously, you're probably not together. You're not sure how they're feeling. So this is a special um, energy around Valentine's Day, around the Valentine energy to see how they're feeling about you and what they would like to say to you, messages from them to you. So I thought this would be kind of fun. So this is for everybody. So welcome in. Hope you're all doing well. And if you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you for coming back. So this is for everybody, for the collective. What does their person want to tell them at this time for valentines what are their messages how are they feeling for the collective whoever's watching this we have a lot of decks here so we're going to pull uh quite a few messages and then i have the um sexual magic there and we'll get some tarot on how they're feeling for the collective spirit please thank you so much for the collective all right how is this person feeling feeling that one this one let's get one more how is this person feeling for the collective we have give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so somebody may really have the energy intention of they really deep down do want to give us a chance or work on it in some way shape or form past life relationship you have known each other before wow so they may be wondering why they feel such a connection to you. And it's because here, uh, it's a past life relationship. And we have, you deserve love. You are lovable. We have the archer here. Always reminds me of Sagittarius energy, but it doesn't have to be. So they may be in that energy of um, maybe they're starting to feel like, you know what? I deserve love. I deserve the love I dream of. I am lovable. They may be starting to see you in that light also. Very familiar feeling between the two of you, perhaps. Wondering why, or maybe especially them. Obviously, uh, you may be more in tune than they are. Um, and they're probably wondering, what is this connection? And they are in that energy of thinking, you know, I might want to give this a chance, get to know this person, may want to work on this. Uh, that energy is there. Whether they'll come through with that, we'll see. But they are definitely, they do think about it. I will say that they do think about it. So let's get some of these. Let's get some of these for the collective. What is this person want to say what are their messages how are they feeling for the collective whoever's watching this spirit please thank you so much if you are new you can check out my channel if you like to and uh i do all signs readings love general bonus readings so please check it out if you're new and feel free to subscribe and like share comment all that great stuff be greatly appreciated oh boy let's see this deck is really hard to shuffle so bear with me here <laughs> okay so wow those just flew out and they're almost the same wow let's get one more let's get one more how is this person feeling for the collective who's watching this what would they like to say at this time and we have here Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. They know in their heart that this is a special kind of connection. And they know the right thing to do would be to get to know you or, you know, give this a chance. And we have here, romance, Cupid, arrow, strikes. Wow, I can't make this up. <laughs> I can't make it up. Cupid's arrow, strikes, and how fitting for Valentine's. Wow. So they're definitely thinking about shooting that arrow of love there. And we have this one here. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So this person may be um, fighting this. They may be... Um, 
instead of letting it flow, they're trying to resist it, they're fighting it, and it's causing unnecessary shifts and cycles in their life because of that energy. When they, and they may be overthinking, overstressing about this connection, where if they just let it flow naturally, I think things would just be so much more easier for you, for them, for the connection. Instead, there's a lot of unnecess unnecessary stress, and maybe also with you, because you're not truly sure how they feel, what's going on in their head, you know, where, where is this going to go kind of energy. So let's get some of these for the collective. What is this person feeling, thinking? What are their messages? What would they like to say for Valentine's Day? They could be thinking about you on Valentine's, wishing that they could be with you in some way, shape, or form, and maybe for some reason they can't. Or it could be fear holding them back, stress, worry, anxiety kind of energy. But they do have romantic feelings here. They do have romantic feelings here. Okay, so let's get some of these for the collective. What is their person feeling? All right. Oh, okay. Oh, we got four. So I guess we got extra ones here. So let's see what we have here. We have embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. Exactly. We have 18 there, which is nine. Nine is almost coming to the completion of a cycle um, kind of energy. Can also be about wishes and dreams coming true. And then we have here five. Show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can, can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. So they may want to just be very kind and gentle towards you. But they need to embrace their emotions. And I had felt that they're trying to push it down, hide it down, uh, causing unnecessary stress in their life and causing unnecessary um, changes and cycles that they probably don't need to go through if they would just embrace their emotions and just show simple acts of kindness. And we have here true love. This love is a once in a lifetime love. 30 is three. A three is about, can be about reuniting, com, coming back together. So, and we got you deserve love, true love. Give your relationship a chance, embrace your emotions. So, they know this is some sort of special connection. And then we have here nine. Again, slow down. When you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. So, I mean, if they do decide to come towards you, it may not be Valentine's. It could be after. It may evolve quickly. So you may need to slow down a little bit. Or this just could be a message for whoever's watching this. If you're very busy or uh, just on the go all the time to slow down here. Or if you're trying to um, make this happen, um, Maybe you need to just pull back your energy a little bit and it may be uh, causing them to withdraw or pull back from you. But there's definitely the energy here of true love. All right, so let's get, let's get some of these. Let's get some of these for the collective, for their person, for Valentine's. What are their messages? What would they like to say? How are they feeling? towards this person, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. All right, let's get a few of these. Oh, there's one. Might just get a couple of these. Let's see if we can get one more. There we go. All right, so we have here Love Your Body, 22, which is four, which is about stability, foundation, the basis. Um... And two is usually about unity, and we got double two there. And four is usually, you know, the four of wands, the twin flame card. So we have love your body. Don't be afraid to be who you are. Don't have fear that they're not going to love you who you are or like you for who you are. I think they're also telling you to don't be ashamed of you, your body. I think they find your body attractive no matter what shape or size you are. 
because we have romance, Cupid arrow strikes right under love your body. So I think they find you attractive no matter what you look like, what your size is, your male, female, whatever, gender here. They love your body. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. And then we have here, speak with love, 32, which is five, which is about change. Five is about change. So, you no, know, they're definitely in that energy of wanting to speak with love. And it may be, uh, they may be a little nervous and afraid that if they do, um, it may come ac across to like bubbly because you got to slow down. So they may try too hard or come across too quick and it may, you know, not be in the right energy. That's why we have the energy here of slow down. But this also reminds me of the Six of Swords energy, which, you know, sailing away to a better place together. That definitely is in their mind. Wanting things to change here. To speak with love. They definitely are attracted to you with love your body here. Wow. Okay. So let's get some of these. Let's get some of these. Let me just push these up here. Make room. Let's get some of these. What does this person want to say to the collective? Whoever's watching this. For Valentine's, special Valentine reading here. Obviously, you're probably not with this person, or you're in separation, or maybe you're just kind of casually dating, or getting to know, or whatever your situation is here. All right, let's get a few of these. A few of these, please. Spirit, thank you so much. Well, that's too many. So we have one here. Let's get one more. One more for the collective. Oh, we got two more. Okay. So we have here retreat. So they're actually thinking about what it would be like to spend some time alone with you, to get away with you, go on vacation with you. Just spending quality time and retreating, just the two of you. Definitely here. I'm feeling that. Nurture yourself first. So they may be in an energy here of taking care of themselves, doing what they need to do to better themselves, their lives. Um, and they also, also want you to be in this energy also to uh, don't let this connection get the best of you. Also take care of yourself. Do you live your life? Don't forget to live your life also. What do we have here? Begin to explore. So that, yeah, definitely here they want to begin to explore this connection definitely and they're in that energy they think about what it would be like to get away with you be alone with you go off together alone with you have a romantic trip or something like that romantic time but they want you to nurture yourself and they're also in that energy of taking care maybe what they need to take care of or taking care of themselves getting their life in order but begin to explore and you see the couple here uh they're kind of blurry you know, you can't really see them. So it's still kind of a blur right now. Like the path's not really clear. But we do have the Eiffel Tower there. So could be going away on a romantic vacation or in that energy, daydreaming. All right. So let's see. Let's get some tarot. This is a sexual magic tarot. So if you are 18 or under, you probably should not be watching from this point as there is some... Uh, female nudity from the waist up and it's kind of uh kind of a sexual deck so just to warn you uh, most people are familiar with this deck but if you're not and you're offended then you may not want to watch from this point all right so and if you're interested um if you check out my channel and you're interested in uh, any uh, information you can check the description box below and the pinned top comment a lot of stuff there, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, how to tip or donate or send a gift or anything like that. All right, so how is this person, let's get more energy, how they're feeling towards the collective, whoever is watching here. Spirit, please, thank you so much. Wow, so we got the Wheel of Fortune and we got the High Priestess. Wow, so they... They intuitively know that if they were to um, 
start this with you that things would be really good here because the wheel here brings in divided guided soulmates it brings in fate destiny divine timing something meant to be so definitely in the energy here of something meant to be they kind of they intuitively know the high priestess energy here this is something that's meant to be a part of their life uh, a connection that's meant to be in some way shape or form whether you come into union or not there was a purpose for your um life's intertwining or meeting there was some sort of lessons to be learned or purpose behind this and they know that they intuitively know that that this is a special connection a special person it was fate and destiny that brought this person into my life and they know that wow they know that wow okay so what do we have here the hierophant <laughs> well marriage and commitment here wow marriage and commitment with the hierophant Okay, so <laughs> they definitely think about that. What would it be like to be in a committed relationship of some some kind, if not marriage, at least uh, something committed here. Doing what's moral, just, and right. Faith, spirituality, religion, that kind of energy. Though I don't know why this Hierophant has two women. I mean, I don't really like that with this deck, but... Seven of Pentacles energy here. So they could just be waiting. They could be waiting. They could be working on their career, their finances right now. They're waiting for the right time. Divine timing with the wheel. So they could be, like I said, getting their life in order. And uh, just waiting patiently. You know, Seven of Pentacles is should I invest? Should I not invest? Assessing, evaluating, uh, patiently waiting. So waiting here with the Seven. And Seven is also... Um, divinely guided numbers so what else here the queen of swords queen of swords king or queen whenever i get the king or queen or the ace of swords it's always divine energy for me but it's also that air energy of truth honesty open honest communication king or queen doesn't matter so wow so <laughs> so they know that the wheel here they intuitively know this is something destined that was meant to be a part of their life for some reason. Definitely they think about commitment, marriage, what would it be like to be with you, you know, wanting to do what's moral, just right. Oh, they could be married now, and that's why they're waiting. Um, kind of energy also. Unless this is a third party situation for some, I don't know here, but they're waiting for the right time. And then the Queen of Swords will be open, honest, truthful communication. Uh, cutting away things no longer serving, which could be a third party um, standing up for you know themselves, the connection, and not taking any BS either. All right, so and that's kind of like divine energy, also to me, the King of Queen of Swords or the Ace, shedding light, saying you know, shedding divine energy down and truth and clarity on this. Now we have the Knight of Swords rushing in. So I feel like <laughs> when the time is right, they may become rushing in here with uh, very quickly, again, with that open clarity communication. And now we got the King of Swords. So we got a divine couple here, the King and Queen of Swords, soulmate energy. They know this is a soulmate relationship, soulmate connection of some kind, King and Queen of Swords. So, yeah, they know this is a soulmate connection and wanting to manifest a brand new beginning here, but they're waiting. They have to wait for some reason, whether they're married and they're getting out of that, cutting that away, or for some reason, if it's financial, they're waiting, they're just waiting for the right time to manifest a brand new beginning here. Wow. Okay. So let's get a few more, a few more. Yeah, two of pentacles, feeling imbalanced right now. They might have a lot going on with their career, their finances, uh, work, things in life, trying to balance things out. Because we got the balance right with the seven about waiting. They want to manifest <laughs> commitment of some kind here. And then we have the stars here. So divinely guided energy, something meant to be, faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. So they see you as your... as their wish and their dream come true um, kind of energy. 
having faith, hope, and optimism. Healing energy. So you may be very healing to one another. Or they see you in a healing light. Or you see them in a healing light. Kind of energy. Wow. So let's see. So I, a lot of energy here of this person would really, really... If they have their way, I think they would really would rather spend Valentine's Day with you than anything else. But for some reason, they can't. Either they're stuck in another situation, marriage or commitment, or it just something they're stuck in, or something with their finances, or something like that. Let's see if there's any more. Six of Wands, so there you go. Success, victory, accomplishment, right? Passionate, fiery energy. So <laughs> success and victory here. They see that. They see this being a very successful connection. They know that. And there's the Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. I can't make this up. A lot of love and emotions here. They want this brand. And we got retreat and nurture yourself right with the Ace of Cups. Brand new beginning in love. Emotions, feelings overflowing. Kind of energy, divinely guided. Love here. Wow. What else? All like really kind of positive cards here. Nothing too, whoops, too negative. Okay. Drop a couple here. Okay. So we do have the tower here. And I got the king of wands in reverse. But I don't feel comfortable taking it in reverse because it just felt funky. So... I think, you know, the tower is going to come in here and it's just King of Wands, very fiery, passionate energy. Definitely a lot of attraction here because um, we do have love your body. So they definitely love your body. I don't care what you look like, what size you are or what they love your body. <laughs> As you see here. So I think tower moment is going to come in here because you got the King of Wands and realizing how much love and passion because the tower is right between the ace of cups and the king of wands king of wands goes after what they want they're very fiery they're passionate go-getter kind of energy i think it's just going to hit them like a tower moment that they have all this love and passion for you and they do want to manifest that brand new beginning here but and now we have the queen of wands at the bottom another matching couple wow two matching couples the king and queen of swords the king and queen of wands so two matching couples. So double confirmation of soulmate energy here. And they know this. So that is their energy. So it's all good energy here. They're feeling romantic. They love it. Obviously love your body. They like to speak with love and affection to you. They would love to start to explore this connection. There could be starting, get, starting to get in that energy. You know what? I deserve love, true love. We do have true love here. I think that was right under you deserve love. Wanting to see, hey, where's this going to go? Knowing something about this is special because it's a past life relationship. Wondering what it would be like to get away with you, alone with you, spend quality time alone with you, just the two of you. Wow. Divinely guided energy. They know this. They know. And they may not be saying, because the high priestess doesn't say she's quiet, so... That's why they're not saying anything, because the High Priestess is here, but all this energy is here. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me some feedback, comments, um, all that great stuff, and uh, I hope this resonated for you. I didn't really want to go over the signs, but if, you know, just looking here, we have all the signs here anyway, and this is a collective reading. So I hope this resonated for you, and uh, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.